would see us with coffee mugs because we often film interviews in the morning. So today we're coming at you with some mimosas because it's been a week. It's been a polar vortex week of fails at the Petty John house. Yes, we, we failed miserably. We, <laughs> we did not follow our own instruction. We, we told um, you to drip faucet. We didn't drip. We completely we just, forgot to drip. We didn't do it. Um, so we subsequently had a great flood in our house and we spent two days trying to thaw out our main water line. He was like, it's gonna be frozen for a week, babe. No, Let's really. just go find some more to stay. And I was like, no, we are gonna thaw those lines out. And we did, but then we busted the water filtration system and it flooded a good chunk of our house. So we did not take our own advice. So we are, we're seeking the help of mimosas today. All things that could have been avoided had we listened to our own, uh, own advice. And we know that this is all menial in the grand scheme of things. If you've seen the news, you've seen people without heat, water, shelter. It's, it's actually been very sad and very alarming. Um, but we did want to be truthful and tell you that we did not take our own advice. I'm so glad the kids have JR because if it gets below 65, I don't really go outside. So with the temperatures being like 12, he's up. Yeah, I'm up outside with the kids. Even the, the baby likes to go out, ride the four-wheeler, take the gator out. We, we go sledding and uh, just have a good time. We go go out for hours and leave, leave mom at home to, to follow the pipes. That was my job. That was your job, yeah. yeah. We, we had a blast. We made the best of the situation. No broken bones, no injuries. Uh, broken sleds and, and, and uh, lots of bruises along the way, but we survived. It was a good time. We're going to go slow for a minute. So a lot of what we feel like is a responsibility we have is to take traditional floor plans and create unique spaces out of them. And really this experience, though we were not even the builder of this home, we got to take a room that was designated to be a closet and one day we saw a Pinterest picture of a wine cellar and so we took something that we truly love, which is wine, <laughs> and we converted that closet into a wine room and today we'll get to show you a little bit of that. The wine cellar originally turned the other direction into my son's room as a closet. So we used the space and turned it this way to make that. And you better believe that in this mix of wine are $2 filler bottles. Can you guess which ones they are? You'll never know because I'll never serve them, but they help fill the space um, because we ended up with a lot more racks than I had honestly anticipated. But we also use it for storage, but it's also a beautiful space to entertain and otherwise would have just been a closet in a kid's room. And she even was uh, nice enough to put a little mini uh, beer fridge in there for us. So. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Pepper yes. and beer goes in there. Yeah. But we carried the marble that we have Thank throughout you. the whole house. We put it in there just so it was all cohesive. It was just a creative space for me, really. And to be really honest, it's also a space that we use a lot.
The house is modern. A way that I kind of chose to balance that was with my lighting. My lighting in the dining room are these kind of old world chandeliers. So I did the same thing in here to kind of tie that in and really mixing old with new, even if it's not really old and it looks old, is a really good way to balance stark contrast in design and actually quite affordable because you can get lighting from a million different places. I think this one came from Wayfair and was under 200 bucks, but it made the space. A lot of what we do within Wichita West is crafting floor plans. We believe truly that a good floor plan can make a home seem truly custom. There's a lot of floor plans that are just bedroom, living room, bathroom, kind of your, your normal spaces, but we are passionate about finding unique spaces within those walls. And so we have a few clients, one in particular that wants a studio and another one that really wants to encapsulate a lot of her view. The lot she's looking at right now has maybe the best view in Southwest Oklahoma. And so the home that we're designing for her, we've actually kind of started with our team crafting something that is unlike any home she's ever had. And she's lived in some beautiful homes, but this one will give her the possibility of a breakfast nook that looks out both ways. There are small ways where floor plan and design basically are one thing. And so we spend a lot of time with our clients really using and narrowing down those spaces so that it does not seem like your everyday build and everyday floor plan. So one way that we balance budget is to educate the client with square footage. A lot of us think, and we've done this before too, we think we need so much home. When in reality, we lived in half of that with our kids, like daily space, what you truly use. It's being able to take what could be 3,200 square feet and downsizing it to 2,500 square feet. But by doing so, you free up so much of your budget to do higher end finishings. So there's so much dead space in a big home that, that never gets used, it never gets touched. And so, dead space equals cost. And, and we can That's get creative with our customers' uh, unique uh, wants and desires and make some really cool spaces out of dead space. And that's part of Wichita West, what makes us different. It's, it's really the little things. I'm never going to tell you it's anything big or miraculous. It's just attention to detail it's client experience, it's looking at something from a completely different perspective that I do not think exists on the market today. And that's really where Wichita West was born. And it's born right here at this table with so many of our clients and our friends and now our team. So we are finally to that stage and we can't wait to kind of unveil who's coming. Yeah, we want to introduce you to our team. We've got, we've got some hardworking, uh, great people that are, are so encouraging and just happy to uh, share in, in this process with us and help us grow and teach us and, 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 and learn from one another. So we're, we're really excited to, to let you guys in on that down the road, right? Down the road. We, can't, we can't talk about that yet. We're not there yet. Not yet. Well, we're there, but we can't share yet. So stay tuned for that. So we're out here in Medicine Park Oklahoma, right outside of uh, Fort Sill, Lawton, Oklahoma, and this little community does not feel like anything else in Oklahoma. You, you literally feel like you're in New Mexico, you're in the Southwest, and there's so much potential here, there's so much room for growth, and it's really taken off in the last few years, and fortunately, we have uh, met some of the, the, the landowners and some of the folks willing to give us a shot at building some homes out here. It's got anything that you could imagine right here waiting for you. And we're excited to, to kick it off and get started. Look at, look at this view.
So I met with Dylan and Alicia out here on the side of this mountain in Medicine Park and it is just a breathtaking view that you can see behind me. They're gonna build a Frank Lloyd Wright home, minimal clean lines with a pool out front for entertainment. They want some chickens, they wanna live off the grid, solar power, so I'm really excited about this uh, opportunity. We, we had a great meeting, we got to, got to know each other, spoke about the foundation, pier and beam uh, approach to this uh, project and I think I think we really hit it off. You guys stay tuned for what what happens here with Wichita West. This is going to be this is going to knock your socks off right here.